Yo, 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 what up? It is Gizzle from Gizzle's Picks. Bringing you NBA Cup Parlay, NBA Player Props Parlay, NBA Everything Parlay, I guess. Or Play Everything Straight <laughs> Video of the Day, whatever you want to call it today. On this nice NBA Cup Day with 11 games, I believe. I didn't count, I just did a little estimate. I think it's 11, I'm always forgetting to count. But we're going to get into these props. There's 12 of them, 12 plays that I like. I stopped at the Rockets and Kings game and the Blazers and the Clippers because I didn't want to give you guys any more because 12 is more than enough. So there's a lot of money to be made today in this nice NBA Cup slate. So let's not waste any time. And hit me up in the comments. Hit that like button if you're new. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when the video is dropping with all that shit said. Let's start the fucking video. Alright guys, my Warriors are starting to suck and they got the Nuggets tonight, but that's alright. We'll see what happens. I heard Draymond's out too, so it's probably not going to be a good game. But anyways, our first game of the night here is the Bucks and the Pistons. I think the Bucks will have won like 9 straight or something against the Pistons. They're minus 3 favorite. Over under 220.5 minus 148 money line. Um, I like them money line also, but we took the over here. Uh, over 220.5. I think uh, the Bucks should be able to put up 120 at least. And I think the Pistons can get up there to, uh, to 100 at least, so... Why not? That should be a good play there. Next up, we got the Sixers and the Hornets. Over here, we got minus four and a half for the Sixers. Two ten and a half for the over. And a minus 192 money line. The Sixers' favorite. That's kind of crazy, huh? LaMelo's out. That's why. And they don't really have a point guard. They're running into the problems that Alabama face with Brandon Miller uh, trying to run point you know he's turning the ball over like crazy his line for turnovers is over three and a half and I kind of like that but I didn't that's not my play in this game there's something else that I like also with somebody else that could be running point for them Michic so you'll see that once we get to the props but um I guess I like the Sixers to win in this game, man. That's weird to say, but it's true. Next up, we got the Wizards and the Cavs. Over, un or, uh, plus 16 for the Wiz. Over, under 234. Plus 900 money line for the Wizards to win. Yeah, right. So, I got the over in this game. I think the Cavs will put up uh, 130 themselves, so... I'm not really worried about it. They've been scoring a lot of points. I think that should be an easy one. Next up, we get this is going to be a good game here. I don't know which way it's going to go here. Uh, we got the Magic. Maybe if they had Paulo, it would be better. But they're plus four and a half over under two fourteen and a half plus one fifty four money line. I wanted to originally take the under, but. I have a hard time taking Knicks unders this year because, uh, I don't know, they seem to be a little more efficient this year, scoring more points. But I think this can go back to a last year uh, game, like a rock fight type game here. So I think the Magic 4.5 is a good play, but I'm not going to touch it. So that would be that, guys. And I'm leaning towards the Magic, but... I think the Knicks could win, but I think it's going to be a tight one. Next up, we got the Pacers and the Raptors. What changed, man? Oh, come on, dude. No, seriously. Hold on, guys. One second here. All right, here we go. The Pacers and the Raptors. Uh, Pacers minus three over under 238 and a minus 142 money line. Uh, I would take, if I was going to take this, I would take Raptors plus three. I don't trust the Pacers at all this year. I'm not liking the way they're playing. I mean, not till their guards come back. Uh, they need those defenders there and to score some more points. So I, I would lean towards the Raptors in this game or nothing. Next up, we got the Jazz and the Thunder. Jazz plus 13.5 over 224 plus 675. Yeah, right. 
Uh, the Thunder need this game. If they want to advance to the Cup, they have to win, and I think the Suns have to beat the Spurs. So I think the Thunder should win pretty handily here. Shouldn't be a problem. I got a Hartenstein prop in there that you guys will probably like. Next game. This is going to be a good game, too. The Grizz and the Mavericks here. Everybody's uh, almost back for both teams, so... Should be an interesting matchup here. We got plus four for the Grizz, over 244, plus 145 money line. I got the under. I think uh, the Mavericks uh, 25 out of 26 last home games went under. And I think this one's going to go under again, too. There's going to have to be some defense in this game for either team to win. So we're taking the under there. Next up. The Spurs and the Suns. So for the Spurs to go to the Cup, I think they need to win this game. And for the Suns to go, I think the Suns need to win and the Thunder need to lose, I believe. It's so many different scenarios, it's kind of crazy. If you want to see the scenarios, just look them up online. They can explain it a lot better. There's like... Uh, so many different scenarios, it's crazy. I was looking at them this morning and it's nuts. But anyways, we got plus seven and a half for the Spurs, over under 229, plus 240 money line. Uh, the only thing here, I think the uh, Suns are nine and one with KD in the lineup, something crazy like that. So I'm not expecting them to lose, but seven and a half. These Spurs are a little feisty here, man. I don't know. I might... Oh, they're playing in Phoenix, so uh, I'm too scared to take the 7.5 points there, so I'm not touching that. All right, next up, the Warriors and the Nugs. We got plus 5 for the Warriors over 237, plus 154 money line. Maybe a good play here would be the over if Draymond's not playing, but I don't know how many points the Warriors are going to put up. Curry's going to have to go crazy for them to put up 120 probably, so... Uh, let's see, he had some comments about the rotations being uh, too many people. Nobody can get consistent time to get into a groove. So let's see what Steve Kerr does tonight. But I would lean towards Nuggets and the five points there. Warriors are on a big losing streak right now. And I'm not expecting them to turn it around yet. So that is that. All right, next up we got the Rockets and the Kings. Uh, the Rockets are already in the cup, so... This game doesn't matter for them, but I still think they'll be playing pretty hard there. So, it's plus one and a half for them over under two, twenty-seven and a half, and plus 105 money line. I would take the Rockets in this game, man. Uh, probably on the money line to make it worth it, but I don't, I don't remember if the Kings have a scenario that they can make it in or not. I don't think so, so. Who knows with that one. I, I like the Rockets there. Next up, last game of the night, we got the Blazers and the Clippers. Clippers have been up and down all week. They've been kind of crazy. But we got the Blazers plus 8.5 over 221 and a plus 295 money line. Um, I would take the Clippers in this minus 8.5. I like that. If I didn't have... All these other plays where ten dollars gets you twenty two thousand, I would play that one too, but I feel like I already got too many. So that's that and let's get into the props guys. So here we go here now. We're just gonna go through all the individual singles here. And hopefully they'll all be on there. So we put ten on that. That doesn't even work, man. We're going to have to put more. But anyways, except changes here. So we're going uh, Giannis, over 6.5 assists. He's been crushing that a lot. Oh, no, what did they do? Oh, boy, something came off. Maybe it was the Giannis. Oh, it went down to over 5.5. So if it goes up to 6.5, I like that still, guys. Um, he's been hitting that a lot, but fuck it. I'll put that in the parlay. Maybe a better chance just in case. 
Uh, we're going to over 220 and a half bucks and pistons. You guys already know about that. Over 234 with the Wiz and the Cavs. Uh, we're taking Darius Garland over two and a half threes. Uh, he's been pretty hot in the last couple of games, so I think he should be able to get there. We got uh, Michik points and assists over 20 and a half for the Hornets. I think he should have a lot more assist chance today. I think he's going to run the point, and he's been putting up good points since uh, Lamelo's been out. Uh, we're going over 11 and a half rebounds for a Cat. I think he should be able to grab a bunch today again. Then we got Scotty Barnes, uh, over 30 and a half PRA. He's crushed that the last couple games. Um, and against the Pacers, I think he should be able to run and do whatever he wants, really, pretty much. So, not really worried about that. Uh, then we're going Hartenstein, over 29 and a half PRA against the Jazz. I think he'll put in 15 points, maybe probably close to 15 boards too and at least like four or five assists so we should be pretty easy on that one then for the Grizz and the Mavs this one I'm a little worried not much he's been doing pretty good Jalen Wells over ten and a half points I think the last five he's only missed it once with nine points so I think we'll be all right with that uh the under 244 Grizz and Mavs you guys know about that then we got KD going over six and a half boards. I think uh, he should have at least 10, 11 rebound chances. So I think he'll be able to grab seven of them. Why not? And then this one I like a lot against the Warriors. I like MPJ. P-R-A. Oh, it rhymes, huh? P-R-A. I think um, he's been actually getting some assists too. And now that Aaron Gordon's back, maybe not, but... I think he'll be able to grab a bunch of boards, too. The Warriors are real small. He usually can get a few against them. And he's been scoring all right, too, you know. So we'll see what happens there. And that is that. So now if you put 10 on our big boy over here, yeah, right, 17 Gs. Probably not going to happen, guys. That's why we play him straight. But I'll just drop a 10-piece on here. I've made enough this year, so... I'll throw it on there, and then I'm going to play them all straight. So, anyways, guys, have a great night. Good luck to everybody. Let's get that money. Kizzle out. Peace.